Well, sharks occur in a number of different fisheries, both targeted and as incidental catch around the world. There's a lot of sharks that are caught. The problem with fishing for sharks is that they have life history characteristics. The, the, the way that they reproduce is slow. They don't have very many young. They take a long time to reach maturity, and so they don't reproduce very quickly. So those life history characteristics are similar to what a whale has. And if you take very many out of the population, then the population declines pretty quickly and they don't support very heavy fishing. So when fisheries develop around the world for sharks or whether when they're caught in, as bycatch in different fisheries, then it uh, whittles down the shark populations pretty quickly and dramatically. And that's what's happened with a number of species of sharks around the world. Well, there's about 100 million sharks caught and killed every year in the world, and about 70 million of those are just for their fins in the shark fin fishing industry. So people are really interested in managing shark populations, and in order to manage them properly, you need to know where the populations are, where the sharks are. A lot of the work that we do is tracking their movements and establishing the boundaries of the population scene whose waters they're in, what states, what countries, and what kind of fisheries they interact with, and just what's happening with the sharks. And when you have that kind of information, you can manage their populations better. And so we're not uh, opposed to people catching sharks. It's just there's a certain rate that you can do that and not start to have their populations decline. So some people think the fewer sharks, the better. But sharks are important in marine ecosystems. There's a lot of interactions that they take place in. You know, they eat things, they get eaten by things, they compete with things, they have parasites. There's all kinds of different other species that are interact with. So like any big predator in an ecosystem, sharks play an important role. And when they're gone, then you start to see things happening in an ecosystem that you didn't really count on, or you didn't even know were gonna happen. And so, Ecosystems can get out of balance, and sometimes, even for selfish humans that don't care so much about sharks, it affects commercial fisheries or, or the health of some ecosystem in ways that they didn't anticipate at all. Research and education is important for countering that. You know, the more people are aware of sharks, then the, they're going to be more sympathetic and not just look at them as killing, eating machines. And there's a whole different set of uh, information in, about sharks that makes them very fascinating animals.